What is going on, you guys? A21 Mayo here, and today I'm bringing you episode number 24 of the Viewer VOD Review series. Now, I have great news for all of you guys. At the recording time of this video, the VOD form will be open. Now, I'm going to set a little bit of a limit as of right now, just because um, the reason it was closed for so long was because I had an overwhelming amount of VODs to review. So I hope you guys understand, I'm going to keep the limit at 10 per submission. So once the VODs reach 10, um, I'm going to close the form, and then I will review those 10 VODs, and then I will open it again, get 10 more VODs, review those 10 VODs, so on and so on, just so I don't get overwhelmed and, and flooded with VODs to review, because I had over 50 to review, and I had to, I had to skim through some of them. Some of them were... Um, unavailable some of them were twitch vods that were unavailable so i hope you guys understand the reasoning as to why i'm doing that um you can find links to my social media down below in the description as, as well as my patreon and my tip video playlist if you guys do want some sort of question answered or specific scenario explained um definitely go join the patreon family um it is a subscription based thing but it will be well worth it i promise you i put all of my thought and um time into each and every question so that way i give the best answer possible and my opinion because i know most of you guys kind of care about the way i look at siege because i in my eyes i think i have a pretty unique way of looking at this game in certain situations um so yeah if you do want to support me in a different way and uh, ask me a few questions there and you want like solid answers where i spend a good amount of time on them and i i uh i give a, a great amount of thought into definitely go join the patreon fam you can find a link to my tip video playlist as well if you guys are struggling with something else in Rainbow Six Siege. There are high chance they've already made a video on that topic. With all of that being said, let's jump into the um, the grand opening, the, the re-grand opening of the VOD form episode 28 of the VOD review series. Alrighty, so this VOD was submitted by Jinx or Ginx, I'm not sure. It's G-I-N-X, I'm not sure to pronounce it, but it was sub submitted by this viewer so let's jump into it let's see what we're rocking with we got a little bit of a change of pace here on theme park which is nice to see um i've been reviewing a lot of clubhouse recently um and things like that so with all that being said let's see what we got crack a lacking in this vod over yonder all right so you went thatcher right off the rip which is good to see um playing that support role for the team bringing that uh that operator that some people might not might not want to play. Now, it's a little bit weird seeing you try to go cafe side. Usually, um, my rule of thumb is uh, Thatcher and Thermite should kind of be like this until Thermite gets whatever walls he needs open. Um, and then they can kind of split ways and, and they can kind of turn into uh, fragging heavy ops. Alright. So, really good thing that I just saw you do was you're establishing an initiate... initiate Oh my goodness. Initiating map control right off the bat. We're 40 seconds into the round. Um, well, more like uh, 43, but um, you get what I'm saying. Um, you're droning. You're taking the map control. You drone cafe out. You saw it was clear. You saw the hallway was clear, and you immediately took the control. Now I'm expecting you to go prone here, maybe get back on your drone, um, and kind of drone a little bit further, kind of take more map control, things like that. Maybe you guys are trying to take open the bunks wall or the daycare wall. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what's what's popping off here. Your teammate is getting interrogated. That's what's popping off. Okay, so something that I went over in my recent VOD reviews. Oh, God, that is scary. Something that I went over in my recent VOD review was um, t your teammates have a certain animation when they are being cav interrogated. So he saw this Ash getting interrogated and saw the animation of the interrogation. And he immediately got the hell out of dodge. So that's good. Um, and you guys are kind of rotating as well because you know, like, um, if you stay there, you're probably going to die just because it... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So your name is SNJ? SNJ? All right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uh, that, that was a good rotation and a good decision on your team's end. I don't know how you killed that bandit, by the way. You are a crackhead. Alright, so again, I would like to see you uh, stay with Thermite a little bit more. Kind of maybe communicate with him. 
Um, tell them, hey, like, it's most common for teams to try to get the initiation wall. Uh, you know, Vigil's downstairs, I believe. Is Vigil downstairs? I heard his gun. Um, I'm not sure where that Vigil was, actually. Maybe the hatch was open, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I would like to see, yeah, the hatch was open. So that's how we heard the Vigil K1A, was through the hatch sound propagation. Um, but to finish my thought, I would like to see you stay with Thermite a little bit more, maybe communicate. I'm not sure if you have a mic or if you're in a party or something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, try to, try to hard breach a wall before you, um, you and Thermite kind of split ways. I mean, also, you didn't use a single EMP on that round. Um, so I would kind of like to see that, that those, uh, pieces of utility, um, put out a little bit more because EMPs are very useful, believe it or not. Um, but, oh yeah. What I wanted to say, it is very common for attackers to try to get the initiation wall when the bomb site is d uh, Bunk's daycare. So that's kind of a, a rule of thumb for this map. Kind of attack from the opposite side over of the bomb site, just so that way you can establish and control map control, if that makes sense. Control map control, um, and uh, and kind of lock down a certain um, side of the map. That's kind of how theme park uh, attacking meta is right now. Um, kind of establish that map control, take over that map control, and then um, hold on to that map control. So the second bomb site is drug. It is drug, right? I believe. Um, it's looking like it's drug. We kind of skimmed over it. I couldn't really tell. Um, which is surprising. Oh, it's not drug. Is it drug? I'm high off crack cocaine. I don't know what the bomb site is. Um. I think it's thrown. It is thrown, right? Hey. Siege content creator here. Don't know where the bomb site's at. Alright, it is thrown. Okay. So. Um, you guys are going to want to take gong side here. Now, you should be probably entry fragging here instead of the Thatcher because he's just running around. I um, mean, it's looking very promising for your team's end. Uh, you know, four out of the five defenders. Um, so that's really good because right now they only have mute for wall denial as, as you guys know so far. Um, and one thing I noticed when you were kind of running around through maintenance is you were checking rat angles, like behind that, um, bumper car there for the cav, which they do have, um, a second round in a row. Um, but I, I would kind of like to see you drone instead of just kind of running in. You could honestly even bait that Thatcher out and if he dies, he dies. That's his fault. Um, but you will most likely get the refrag, so that's something to maybe take into, uh, consideration the next time you are put in a situation like that. And your Thermite and Jack will die. Nice. Very cash money. We get the immediate refrag, so now it's a 3v3, but no hard breacher. But you do sell the Thatcher and the Ash, so a little bit utility, um, on the board still. I want to say this Cav was in barrel the whole time. There's a Vigil's dead body. Yeah, I want to say that cows in the barrels the whole time just ratting out. Um, but to finish my thought about you roam clearing and, and things like that, uh, you should probably drone because if Cav was in one of those rat corners, her gun does an, an extremely strong amount of damage. So at that range, a one armor is probably a two shot to be injured. Um, so the chances of you winning that gunfight aren't really in your favor. Um, but I see that you're taking... Uh, a little bit of vertical pressure to the def defense right now, um, which is which is good to see. Uh, you kind of understand map control and, and vertical play on this map. Um, I mean, you're not going to really use your ash charges on much else, to be honest with you. Maybe a maestro cam or something, but who knows. Actually, no, the last defender is either a dock or a rook, so there is no maestro cam. There might be a bulletproof on Jaeger or Vigil or dock, um, but yeah. Now, you're trying to quick lean when this guy is prone. That's not going to work because clearly he's pre-firing you and you walked right into what he was expecting you to do. So that's not going to work for you. Um, your best bet there is try to thread the needle and run through his pre-fire because, I mean... Because, uh... I mean, he's just going to keep pre-firing as, as he did. So you have a mic. I just saw the icon on the right side light up. I saw your name. Oh, 
You're being a little bit toxic. Actually, you're being quite toxic because instead of using your mic for proper for proper communication, you used it to talk down on your teammate, pretty much. So that whole time you, you could have been communicating what you're doing, what you're droning, what you're taking, what you're using your utility on, what you're trying to do, what you guys think you should do. So many different options of positivity and structured attacks, but instead you're using it to say, oh, the Snatcher's baiting, oh, he's trying to save KD, whatever, what are you doing? Things like that. So you got to cut that out, man, because... If your team doesn't like you, if you're solo queue and your team doesn't like you, probably not going to win the game. And if you don't want to win the game, that's fine. If you want to be toxic, that's fine. But just a little rule of thumb for the future. Don't, just don't do things like that. Be in control of yourself. Be in control of your actions. Be in control of the words that you say. It's okay to be toxic to someone else that's toxic um, and uh, initiated the toxicity um, but it's not okay to do it every single round or whatever it is. Um, because you could be using that mic. Weird champ. Weird champ. All right, so I'm gonna assume the bomb site is initiation office this time. Hopefully, I can predict that. It is drug. Okay. Um, so they have a rook, doc, bandit, cav, Jaeger. Okay. So no intel op, ADSs, two ACOGs, one nitro, two impacts, four impacts. That's how I look at it. Whenever I see see operators that are opposing me. I look at the utility um, and see what they have to offer. Alright, so you guys get a really early pick on the Caviera, which is very good because she has been a nuisance for your guys' attacks and the... Um, yeah, pretty much you guys' attacks. So you're just running through, which is crazy. You're not droning. You're not doing anything. You're just angle checking. You're just face checking, pretty much dry peeking. Uh, okay. You guys killed the Jaeger as well. I'm pretty sure the only time I've seen you on a drone is either in prep phase or the one round you were Thatcher. Like, you have a drone right now, why are you not using it? See, now it's a 3v3. You guys are just dry peeking everything, not droning anything. Instead of, this could have been a 5-0, a flawless round, but you guys are just peeking everything without droning. Like, you have a drone, why not use it? I don't see why you would not want to use it. Have, having drones is like an extra life. Having drones is a, is free intel. It's so many things. The way you play on console looks like you're trying to mimic playing on PC. If you want to look like you're playing on PC, then just play on PC. Alright, one two split on the half. Well, getting one one attacking round is actually really good on theme park. It's a fairly defender side of map, especially in ranked. Um, the only thing is, you guys don't have a Jaeger, which is a tad bit upsetty spaghetti. Um, maybe you could have sacrificed picking Vigil and gone Jaeger instead. Now, let's see what you do here. I'm gonna go for a spawn peek. You hear someone on this cam. I shot it. That is Thermite dead, I believe. Is that Thermite? It looks like Thermite. 
Yeah, that's Thermite dead. So that's a very good pick. Obviously, it's going to look a lot more clear on your end because, I mean, you're playing and this is a recording, so it's a tad bit grainy and things like that. Um, but I want to say that was Thermite, so it's a very good pick. You should be calling it out, though, because I know you have a mic and you're choosing not to use it. Why not have good communication? Why only why only bring negativity through your mic? Why not positivity? Why not a good call out? Like, hey, Thermite dead. Things like that. They know you're there. You still win the gunfight, though. If you get flashed like that, a very specific flash, so then someone knows you're there. They either had a drone on you, which I don't know why you're not cloaking. What's the point of you bringing Vigil if you're not going to use the ability? That's the whole point. You're supposed to roam and, and waste time and shoot drones and um, distract and elude the attackers of your position. Like, I, you haven't cloaked at all, I'm pretty sure, on this roam. Alright, so there goes the Mew. I'm not sure where he died at. Someone has maintenance door. Um, because of the cap can. It's a Twitch. So last two are Buck Finca. You know that the last two are over on the other side, right? You should. I mean, based off sound propagation, I know that. Alright, this is your point of returning to site because it's a 1v2 on site. If they take their 1v2 on site and they know you're still roaming, which they should take their 1v2 on site, um, they get a refrag. Um, and now it's a 1v1 and you're off site, they have full site control. Now again, you just had Diffuser, you should be calling this out. But you didn't. I believe that was an ace? I think it was. Who was who'd you kill? Thermite Ash. Thermite Ash. Who else? Twitch. Buck. Fink. Yeah, that was an ace. Um, but again, use your microphone. Why are you not using it? You should be calling out who you killed, where you killed them, um, and if you had, if 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 you uh, drop the diffuser with the kill. I mean, it's very basic things to say, you know. Um, so I mean, use that mic more. I know you got it, and I don't know why you're not using it. I think you're just being a little bit arrogant um, and not using it. Alright, so this round you dropped the Vigil. You went Mozzie. So let's see what happens on this round. Gotta sprint and do it. Oh my god, that anticipation was killing me. Holy shit. Alright, putting a punch hole is not a good idea. Because... Not only is it very common for that barricade to be shot open, so sitting there is not very good. Yeah, that was stupid. Um... Yeah, sitting there was not a good idea. You probably should have just reinforced the wall, honestly. Because I know you have two reinforcements left. Um, but yeah. I mean... An, an Ash came from drug drug bathroom last round, so what would be the difference of them not doing that again? It is ranked, people fall into habits, people fall into comfortability. So something to pick up on. And especially, like, against players that you, like, you can kind of predict. That buck should have been a free kill if you kind of understand like predictability and and what people like to do if they are comfortable or things like that all right moving on to a three two round um match point which is good so let's see what we got popping on this uh potentially last and final round is it the last round it might be i think it is i think this is the last round pretty sure you guys went off this this defense so let's see what's what's going on here. All 
Alright, so you reinforce two quad walls. You're looking at your teammates, seeing what's going on down there. I would probably use your impacts. You haven't you haven't used any of your utility. Like you haven't made any rotates, you haven't done anything. The only only piece of utility I've seen you use is an ash charge and mozzie pests. Don't sit there because your head can be shot. Um if you go far back enough, your head can be shot. And especially if you elevate yourself or elevate, your head can be shot as well. All right, so your spawn peak isn't working for you in your favor this round. Dude, your team is crazy at getting refrags. One just dropped bottom dragon. He's on the dragon statue right now. You know he's there. Yeah, bro, why? I don't know why you don't cloak with Vigil. Oh, right, you know, they got a... Last one's Blackbeard. I think he's arcade lobby. Yeah, he is. He's on the double door drug. He's gonna be... Yep, he probably went up the stairs, most likely. Alright, you're holding the angle. Holding the angle. Minute 40 left. 2v1 situation. It'd be your best bet just to rotate to back to site. Because again, the last round when you got the ace, um, it was a 1v2 on site, and the same thing applies. It's a 1v1 on site. So it could be very possible that this Blackbeard wins the gunfight against the against the bandit, and he has full sight control again. So you did your job as a roamer by wasting time. You're at this point you're you're blood hungry. Or you're bloodthirsty rather. Um, you're looking for kills when you shouldn't be. Roaming isn't getting kills. I know you have the momentum of getting an ace. Trust me. I know what that feels like of playing really well and getting an ace or sh hitting really nice shots. But you can't let that get to you. Because look at you right now. You're running around trying to fight a Blackbeard. One of the... One of the... Um... Most... Not annoying... But a Blackbeard has such a high chance of winning a gunfight simply because he has a face shield. So, back to my point of you getting bloodthirsty um, by playing well and you want to keep that momentum going. That's the difference between a siege, a good siege player and a great siege player. Because they won't allow that momentum to control the way they play. You're just running around at this point trying to kill this Blackbeard to have a good scoreboard. But when a good C or a great Siege player would position himself in order to get that kill. If he's really hungry for it. Like, you're allowing the momentum to dictate what you do and where you play and how you peek and everything like that. Which is not good. Because it will get you more times, or it will get you killed more times and it will get you kills. It's simply said. I promise you, because it happened to me, I'm sure it's happened to other Siege players, and maybe they haven't fixed the issue, or they have fixed the issue, and they know what I'm talking about. But it's very it's very simple. Don't allow bl a momentum to, to change the way you play, or the way you peak, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, but to wrap up the VOD, um, firstly, you got you got to cut, cut down on the toxicity. Uh... Because no one likes a dick. And you're just like, you're just screeching in your mic. Or not screeching, but you're like complaining in your mic about um, a Thatcher baiting for whatever he was doing. Saving KD, whatever you said. Um, so yeah, you got to cut that out. Um, and secondly, and I guess more importantly, um, what I just went over. Don't be bloodthirsty. Um, I understand that you feel really good after getting an ace, slamming everyone. But to touch on the topic that I just went over, don't allow momentum to change the way you play. Because that will be the difference between a good Siege player and a great Siege player. Those are the only two real topics that I... I mean, I could say utility. Um, definitely use your utility, actually. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I saw you use an Ash Charge and a Mozzie Pest. That's all I saw you use. And maybe you cloaked here and there. But that's about it. Um, yeah, like, use your utility... Toxicity and uh, controlling your 
um, impulsive behavior of running around after a certain amount of kills or whatever you do that that uh, gives you that momentum and that confidence. Uh, it's good to have confidence, but too much confidence will get you killed, I promise you. I promise you. It will get you killed. But yes, that is going to wrap up episode number 24, I believe, of the Viewer VOD Review series. As I said at the beginning of the video, there are links to all my social media down below. I would greatly appreciate a, a follow on each platform. Um, and uh, a link to my Patreon as well as my tip video playlist. Again, if you want anything answered or situation explained, um, anything along those lines, I put my utmost uh, attention and energy and, and uh, thought process and time to those questions that I get answered on that website. So if you do want something along those lines, it's kind of like a mini coaching session. Um, so if you do want um, things like that done or you need help with something, um, definitely go check out Patreon. It is in the description below. As well as my tip video playlist. There are over, I believe, 30. It's getting close to 40 um, tip videos in that tip video playlist. So if you are struggling with something else in Rainbow Six Siege, there are high chance I've already made a video on that topic. And yes, that is going to wrap up episode number 24. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the, all the support. And I will see you guys in the next video.